Hi and welcome to another Blazing's review of the TurboWing 5.8 25mW Mini All-in-One Camera. I'd like to thank TurboWing for providing this great little all-in-one cam for this review. This is a quick shot review and as such, I'm going to make this short and sweet. This Mini 2-in-1 is a 5.8G wireless camera and has 48 channels. The camera resolution is 720x540 for power and 640x480 for NTSC. So it's a 600TVL 1.4 sensor camera with 120 degrees field of view. It uses only 200 to 215 ma and can take 2.9 to 5.5 volts. It has a button to change settings and 8 LEDs to display them clearly and its dimensions are 14.5 by 12 millimeters and weighs 3.3 grams. Here's the camera. I'm mounting it on my Tomoquad's Micro 78. It's uh, real simple, just solder the positive and negative wires to a 5 volt back that is usually found on your FC. Mine is on the Furious FPV Pico block. Some test footage. As you can see, I found the image quality far superior to anything I've seen before for a camera of this size. The detail and colors you get is very good. The handling of low light situations is the best I've seen for a CMOS camera, and it's almost as good as a CCD. Pay closer attention to how it handles the light when changing lighting conditions and how fast it switches. Let's compare with another all-in-one camera I'm also reviewing at the moment. On the left is the 25mW all-in-one camera from AKK Technology and on the right is the Turbo Wings. As you can see, the Turbo Wings is more pleasant to look at and is far better at handling the light, although it looks like the AKK is more sharper, but it's more saturated and has more bleeding. It also looks like the AKK has a little bit more detail due to the sharpness and the Turbo Wings colors does look a bit faded. There are drawbacks to both and it will come down to personal preference in the end. This last clip demonstrates how well the camera performs. Bear in mind that we are flying mostly in the shadows so it was quite dark. still see when looking directly at the sun. It's not all blown out and you can definitely see details right under where the sun is. So if you haven't yet noticed, I highly recommend this little tiny all-in-one camera from TurboWing. It's definitely one of the best I've used. 
and I'll leave a link in the description for you. It'll be interesting to see how this all-in-one camera stacks up against the newly released Micro Swift from Runcam. And as soon as I get one, I'll post the results up here for you. So like, subscribe, and this has been an Blazing's review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.